Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing well. Let us talk about Python Lambda, Anonymous Function, Map, Filter, and Reduce. First thing that we are going to talk about is Lambda. Lambda syntax is simple. You just say Lambda, give a bunch of arguments, then you do something with those arguments. Python Lambda is also called as Anonymous Function because it has no name. We do not give it a name because it is supposed to be a disposable or temporary function. Double, let's say, lambda. Here's an example, x star 2. So I do not, this, a, this itself is a function. If I do double, I just get the function. If I do this, then I get you know, the lambda function. So does that mean that I can do this? Oh, that won't work. Uh, what if I, can I do this then? I just take the entire function, do this. Okay, just got the function. What if I directly give uh, some argument here like this? Will that work? No, it won't. invalid syntax so let us define this is how you use it and how you call it let us define one more lambda x x star x sq is i will give you an argument two it will return four sq three three into three is nine sq four 4 into 4 is 16. SQ 5, 5 into 5 is 25. Now, if at all we are defining this um, in a regular fashion, regular function is looks like this. Return x star x. I will say square five. As you can see, this is a regular function. It has a name. The usage is same or similar. So so that lambda function is the same as this regular function that we have defined here. Let us define one more. LAMDA x is x plus 10. And I will do r of 5. So it adds 10 to 5. R 9. There you go. You can give multiple arguments. That is permissible. x comma y x plus y add 2 comma 3 then we have range 9 how can we use this range here let's see list of range is this let us remember this now let us combine the power of lambda with the functionality or the efficiency that map function offers. Map syntax is simple. So map, you say map, and then you give a function here. Then you give a sequence or an iterable. Map performs a function on a given sequence, right? So let us do that. Now, This is a function, the MDA x, x star 2. So it's just doubling the number I'm going to give. And this is the range. But it just gives me the function, right? So let me store this as an M. And then 
do this. I will say list. Okay, let me convert it to a list. The result 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. So it is 0 to 8, that is 0 till, uh, till 9, or 0 to 8. They got doubled. So this is a function. This function got applied to the entire sequence or each element of the sequence. Can I give multiple ranges here? Let's say range 7, maybe. Let's do that and check. No, that will not work. Takes one positional argument, but two were given. And our function here has been designed, uh, the lambda function is designed to handle one. So. If at all we had, let's say, x comma y or something, then probably that would have worked. Well, that let's check that too. I will say x comma y, and I will do x plus y. Yep, and see what happens. Does that make sense? Lambda, we designed lambda to accept two arguments. And we did something with those two arguments. We supply two lists. So from each list, it takes the zeroth element. Zeroth element will be x. The zeroth element here uh, from range 7 will be y. It will do x plus 7, but 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It stopped at 6 because the shortest length of, or the shortest list here, or a sequence is 7. And once this sequence reaches the end or the last element, it has uh, no more elements to supply for range 9. Because this is 9, this is 7, so it stops at the shortest sequence that you have given. I hope that makes sense. If not, please do ping me in the comments. Let me know. Now let us define one more smaller Swedia function map. I will say lambda x star x plus 10 range 9. And I will say tuple m. Instead of converting that to a list, I converted that to a tuple just to show you that you don't have to always convert the result to a list to see it. All right, so let us define um, two more lists. List range five here. B is list range five comma 10. So it is zero till five, that is zero to 4 and there is, this is 5 till 10. Now map as you can see can be applied to more than one. We already saw that. Let us have a look at another one. Lambda x comma y is x plus y a comma b Five, seven, nine, eleven, thirteen. Here, both of them are of the same length. No confusion here. Or if you want to make the whole thing into one liner, here we go. So map stops at the last element of the shortest list. I hope that is clear. I will put that here. Or let me go ahead and bring up a new line. No.
there we go okay so let us have a look at filter function not even built method uh, let us take a problem filter odd numbers here we go then we have list I'm gonna try the one line thing lambda x x uh, percentage to range 20 what happened here so I wanted to filter out odd numbers or filter in odd numbers here I'm just putting a function or uh, x percentage two. so two a reminder of two by two is zero and zero is false is zero false I'm asking Python Python says yes I say bool zero it says false so if you convert zero to a boolean then it's false please go back and have a look at the boolean section that we did there zero is considered as a false statement then what if we want to do even numbers now so let us take even numbers we want to get even numbers how should we do that control a control c control v i will say 2 minus 1 0 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 16 18 quick let's look at another interesting func tools import reduce from func tools funky tools import reduce then what we want to do let's pick up a problem and then we will try to solve that with reduce implement max function using lambda and reduce so m equals lambda a b a if a greater than b else b yep and then we have reduce m so to lambda i'm passing two arguments i'm telling lambda that give me a if a is greater than b if a is else give me b so basically if i give it two elements it is going to give me the one which is bigger amongst the two so i'm taking that function right and i'm going to pass on a list i'm going to say two three sixty six ninety nine forty four so 99 obviously as you can see 99 is a bigger number compared to any other elements in that list so we got 99 can we do another one instead of 99 we put just 9 here we're gonna put 333 as you can see we got 333 let us implement minimum function it just should be very easy what we can do here is we will do this yep instead of greater we're asking lambda to give us the smallest number two is a small number here i'm going to take this one instead of two i'm going to say zero zero is smaller than anyone else and we got zero as our result i think that is all i had for now thank you for tuning in and you have a great one take care now